Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. You just finished your shave, you have your razor, your brush, you're not sure what to do. Do you take the blade out? Do you wash it? Do you rinse it? Do you dry it? What do you do with the brush? Do you wring it out? Shake off the cream? What's next? A very common question I get asked is, what do I do after the shave? What do I do with my razor? What do I do with the brush? So I will cover those things right now. I'll demonstrate different types of razors, what you can do with them after the shave to clean them and then dry them so that they don't develop any water spots and rust or anything like that. And then also your shaving brush when you're done with that, what to do with the brush, how to clean it, and how to condition it as well. Things you will need to do this. Try to keep it simple. For cleaning razors and brushes, I like to use Dawn dish soap. It's just a mild soap. And it says on here, Dawn contains biodegradable surfactants. Also it says, uh, contains no phosphate. So the way I feel about it, if it's good enough for the birds that get trapped in an oil spill and they use Dawn to clean their wings and their bodies off, if it's good enough for that, it's good enough for my shaving brush and my razor. So I think that's a good one. It's blue, green, whatever color you prefer, doesn't matter, but a mild dish soap like this. You'll also need a brush so you can brush down the razor. Here's my beat up old one. This is actually a manicure nail brush. I use it for cleaning my razors. And here's a brand new one, a cleaning brush or a nail brush, or you can also use a toothbrush. Any of these items, you can pick them up under the video. Just click where it says show more or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box. It'll pop right up. Not the toothbrush you use to brush your teeth, but an old toothbrush that you don't use for anything oral anymore. I mean, if you really want to be a crude, if you want to be, if you want to, if you want to be wicked, you can use your mate's toothbrush and then just put it back on the shelf. But I wouldn't recommend that. That could be dangerous. And I'm, yeah, don't, don't say you heard that from me here. You'll also need some type of shampoo for your brush. This is Pantene Pro. What I like, it's two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. So you can kill two birds with one stone, shampoo and condition in one step, which is nice and easy. Here's another one, Dove. You always ask, like, what kind is that? What kind do you use? So I'm telling you, this is Dove Men Care shampoo and conditioner. Also, do it in one step. So you always ask, what, what type do you use? And I show it in a video. So you can use any type, Suave, Pantene, Dove, whatever. Whatever you have in the house, that's most likely good enough. You'll also need a nice thick terry cloth, terry towel, or a microfiber towel like this, which is ideal for cleaning. Absorbs water, dries really easily. Excellent for cleaning razors and brushes. Okay, here we go. Fill up a bowl with some warm water, any type of a bowl. You can use your shaving bowl as long as you wash it afterwards. You can use that instead of using your wash basin or your sink because it might be dirty in your sink. You, you may not want to wash your razors in that. I prefer to use a clean bowl. So just put some dish soap in the bowl and then warm water and you can use that to do your cleaning. We'll start with the two-piece razor. This is my Mula R41. Could be an R89, could be a th Merker 38C, any type of uh, two-piece razor. Just unscrew the knob at the bottom and then remove the top cap. Remove the blade carefully without touching the sharp edge and you can put that up on your Shave Nation magnet to get it out of the way. I stick my magnet right to the mirror and my blade's ready for next use. Nice and convenient, up high, out of the reach of children. You always want to keep your sharps out of the reach of children. Disassemble the top cap and then the handle and safety bar and give it a nice brushing with your sudsy water and then rinse it with warm water. And then you can dry it off with your microfiber towel. And then if you really want to get crazy, you can use a blow dryer on it. I like to leave the parts disassembled so they dry thoroughly. And then after that, when I'm ready to shave, pop the blade back in, reassemble the razor, and I'm good to go. If it's a three-piece razor, like this chubby Shave Nation razor right here, disassemble the three parts, disassemble the handle, safety bar, top cap, remove the blade carefully, set it off on your Shave Nation magnet, and then Scrub down all the parts, the top cap and the safety bar especially. Usually the handle stays pretty clean. Rinse the top cap and the safety bar with some soapy water. 
dry it with a microfiber towel, you're good to go. A butterfly razor like this Parker 22R, just unscrew the handle counterclockwise to reveal the blade, pop the blade out, set it off to the side on your Shave Nation magnet, and then take your brush, scrub the inside parts, get the inside of the wings, the doors, the silo doors, clean those thoroughly, and then clean around the bottom portion of the top cap, and then give it a good rinse under the warm water. I like to leave the butterfly doors open so it dries thoroughly, and then when I'm ready for my next shave, pop the blade in, I'm ready to rock and roll with my shave. If it's an adjustable razor like this Merker Progress, just go ahead and unscrew the handle, remove the top cap. This is a two-piece. Remove your blade, scrub with uh, soapy water inside the top cap and the safety bar. Give it a good rinse and then dry it off with your microfiber cloth and let it sit with the parts disassembled and you'll be good to go for your next shave. If it's a Merker Fatour adjustable razor, you want to pop off the cap. Just be careful with the blade inside there. There's the blade. You can just remove it carefully like so. And then give the top cap a good scrubbing down on the inside and outside. Also the base plate that give that a good scrubbing and it's got some movable parts in there so let it dry thoroughly and then you're ready for your next use. Last but not least as far as safety razors, if it's an open comb razor you want to make sure that you go with your brush in the direction of the comb so that you can remove any residue, soap, shaving cream, anything that gets inside there. You want to remove that thoroughly so that it doesn't build up any residue, rust, water spots, anything like that. Scrub down the interior parts inside of the top cap. Give the safety bar a good scrubbing and then let the parts dry in free air. Don't put it in a drawer or anything like that. Just let it dry in free air and then you're good for your next shave. Pop your blade in, you're ready to go. And here's a different razor you may not have seen. This is the Razorine razor. Uh, we also have these at Shave Nation. All you want to do with this, remove the thumb screw. Be careful. Close the stopper on your sink so it doesn't fall down there. Separate the two parts like so. And then just give the top cap a good scrubbing with soapy water and also the, the base plate. Scrub it down with soapy water, the handle. This is actually the rubber coated version. We have these at Shave Nation. So do that. Scrub it down real good. Rinse it under warm water. Set the parts off to the side and let them dry thoroughly. If you're using a straight razor, you want to be very careful. Just give it a good rinsing under the water. Wash off any soap residue, shaving cream residue, anything that's left on the blade. And then you can be very careful. Wipe along the length of the blade from the spine, moving toward the sharp edge of the blade. Just be careful that you don't touch the sharp edge of the blade. Give it a couple good swipes. Dry it thoroughly. Dry all the parts on the razor. For the handle, just grab a piece of tissue and fold it in half and then you can slide that back and forth, clean the inside of the handles or the scales and then set the razor off to the side to dry in free air. Do not put it back in the sleeve while it's wet. It will develop water spots. Worse than that, it can rust. Whether it's carbon steel or stainless, it can still get water spots. So you want to make sure it's thoroughly dry. Again, keep it out of reach somewhere up high so your little ones can't get to it. If you want to be really meticulous about this and keep everything squeaky clean and dry, well, when you get done wiping everything down, you can then take your blow dryer and give all the parts a thorough drying. After your shave, your brush is going to be loaded with shaving cream or soap. You want to thoroughly rinse it under the warm water and then remove all the shaving cream. Give it a couple shakes. Remove the bulk of the water and then take the brush. Then lay your microfiber cloth across the palm of your hand. Take the brush and just dry it. The tips, run them across the towel, remove the moisture from the tips, and then set it in a shaving stand along with your razor. And then they can both dry in open air, free air, and they'll be ready for your next shave. That's the best way to prolong the life of your razor and your shaving brush. Hang it in a stand. Don't let the brush dry upright like this so that the water leaks into the shaving handle. What will happen is that water will weaken the epoxy glue inside the handle and eventually your brush will come out from the handle. You don't want that to happen. So hang it, bristles down. You want to take care of the tools that take care of you. And some gents do it after every shave, some do it every two or three days, some do it once a week. 
If you get four or five shaves out of your blade and you're shaving every day, at the end of the week, disassemble your razor, remove the blade, and then clean everything real good, dry it off, and then you pop in a new blade and you're ready to rock and roll for the upcoming week. Again, every day, every three days, if you're really meticulous about it, you can do it every day. If you're kind of nonchalant about it, then every three or four days. But keep in mind, if you suffer from razor burn, irritation, ingrown hairs, I'll throw some Latin at you right now. Folliculitis barbae, ingrown hairs. If you suffer from any of those symptoms, you want to be very sure that your equipment is always clean. Some gents will even use a blade one time and then toss it and clean the equipment, clean your razor, reinstall a blade, ready for your next shave. When you're shaving, you're removing the outermost layer of skin with your beard. So you want to make sure that your equipment is completely clean so there's no chance of infection. That will help eliminate all types of shaving irritation, the red bumps, the razor burn, ingrown hairs. Also, a good alum block, Shave Nation alum block, wide stick, soak it under the cold water after your shave, glide this all around your skin, and that will seal off any small nicks, micro nicks you may have gotten. And also, it's an antiseptic, so it will help prevent razor burn, irritation, ingrown hairs, all that. After a while, your brush may become laden with soap residue or shaving cream residue. You want to give it a good shampooing. Just soak it under warm water. Take your shampoo. I like to use a two-in-one conditioner. Kill two birds with one stone. Just squirt some right into the tips of the brush and massage it in. And then rinse it out thoroughly. Give it a good squeeze, a couple shakes. Just give it a good squeeze. Don't pull on the knot. And then swipe it back and forth across your microfiber towel a few times. And then set it in the stand to dry and you're good to go. That's about it. Do me a favor before I check out, please click that subscribe button down there and then go up in the corner and click the bell and then click all so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.